African-American interest in Africa has been growing at an all-time high. And that is because of a lot of information about Africa that is positive for African-Americans. We do know that our particular group does have a tendency to romanticize Africa and its opportunities, and scam artists like to take advantage of that period. And one of the people that I would consider in that scammer category, unfortunately, is Brother Akon. Now, I will say some positive things about Akon that cannot be denied. He has definitely done some powerful things in Africa. He's also catalyzed the interest in Africa that many people needed in order to come home. But unfortunately, there's some misinformation that Akon is giving. And a lot of times, Akon talks out of the side of his neck, which really makes no sense. And I want to use this clip about Akon talking about if every African-American invested in Africa, that person would be a millionaire. Africa is the only way out. It's the golden and it's the holy grail for your freedom. Like, if Americans, African-Americans specifically don't see that investing in Africa changes everything for you, I mean, all the way down to generational wealth. Like, it's in the, Africa's in a position where if um, African-Americans take position now, you guys, every single African-American in America would be a millionaire. Without even thinking twice, because there's not, there's nothing that's not needed over there. So you guys come with the discipline, you come with the knowledge, you come with the resources, and then what you've created just for developing America, nothing can happen really in America without us. Just think about everything that creates so much revenue for America, from sports, to entertainment, to fashion, to medicine. I mean, you name it. We're, we're, we're leading in every single sector, like us. Just imagine if we all just decided to just take all our bags, withdrew all our money, and go to Africa. Where would America be today? It would collapse overnight. Because nothing would, like, nothing. Like, all of our athletes can go create their own teams. Just, you, who do you think they're going to watch? They're going to watch all the black professional athletes playing in Africa, or they're going to watch the white professional athletes playing in America? Okay, so you've heard it. Now, let me just say this. There is a lot of opportunity on the continent of Africa. I myself have been coming here for six years and I found a lot of opportunity for myself. And I know many other African-Americans or even Ugandan Americans or black British that have done very well. Unfortunately, with Akon's comment, he's not looking into a lot of the fraud and the lack of protection of African-Americans money coming back to Africa. It's not just us, it's people who are from the diaspora. I'm talking about people who are from an African country itself. Let's stop the show here. Imagine you're a Ugandan American and you've moved to Boston and you know the system here. You understand the languages in whatever part of the country you live in. Wouldn't that make you be an instant millionaire when you come back? But the answer is absolutely not. Even people who come from here and go abroad and come back, they wouldn't become millionaires. You want to know why? Because of fraud and because of scams and lack of protection of investment from people coming back from the diaspora. Let me just give you one case in point here, okay? Let me start off with this. Diaspora and frauds. What do I mean by that? People from the diaspora, Britain, the African-American community living in Africa that are committing land scam frauds, which then deter African-American investment in Africa. Let's play this clip. All these videos about Julia and Julia and Julia, Listen, Julia and Adrian, yeah, they might have got a divorce. They've split up. So what? That's their personal life. The things that she's done, go for the things that she's done. Go for the things that people are saying she's done. There are many sisters that are upset, that have no land, because they believed her. They believed her YouTube channel, and they believed that you would get your land, and it's now yours. That's not true. She knows it's not true and everybody knows it's not true. But those that are not in Gambia, again, I say, take responsibility. Why would you spend thousands and thousands of pounds buying something? I know she's a good talker, but why would you spend thousands of pounds buying something that you've never seen? Why didn't you do your due diligence and ask someone else as well? But a lot of people have lost money because they thought they were buying something when they didn't buy anything. 
So as you see here, this is a person who is allegedly from the UK who is taking advantage of African-Americans, black British investment in Africa. And all of this is going on unregulated. The country knows about this, I'm pretty sure. They're not doing anything to stop it. So then how are you gonna be a millionaire when you keep meeting fraud? Let's talk about land scams in other countries, such as Ghana. But I want to share with you all the most disappointing thing I have yet had to report thus far when it comes to the land in Ghana. Many of you all have seen my video when I have advised many people, do not buy land in Ghana. Many people take this as a stab towards Ghana or the Ghanaians when I've said before that if you mess around with land in Ghana, you just might get scammed. I've reported that a Cebu, a place that was signed, sealed, and delivered, approved even by the president, is under attack and in courts over family disputes where many African Americans and those in the diaspora from the UK and other places have built their property. And it's up in court. And my favorite, let's talk about scams with Akon's coin itself. Now myself and many people joined on board because why not help people who really don't have much, but yet you want to see them flourish just like you might see yourself or others. And this whole confusion. I don't want to say scam, but I'm going to say that they have not fulfilled their promise in what they would provide to the donors, the investors, or the contributors of this whole thing. Now, you know, they got themselves in hot water, apparently, because of the fact that they were made promises that in exchange for people's donations, they would get a TOA, token of appreciation. This would convert over into an A coin uh, as the time goes on. But apparently, according to maybe the SEC, and I will provide this information here shortly of the email that they had sent out, but they were not legitimately able to do such a thing where they asked those people who got involved with this project that to stay on board with them until they can get things fixed. And if you do not want to go further with this project due to the fact that it was illegitimate promise that they had made that is illegal, that you can go ahead, put your name in a hat and go ahead and get your refund. Well, of course, myself and other people have done such a thing and they have failed to return. You see, guys, those are three different scenarios. One is diaspora scamming, one is land scamming, and one is scamming of the A-coin himself by the person who initially said that. You see, to think that all African-Americans will be millionaires coming back to Africa, it sounds good. But the reality is, is that you really need to be here a lot. It's not about just having skills, it's about also forming communities. Many people in the African-American community have lived by themselves or in a singular fashion. When you come here, you need to come as a group. That is something that we would have to do just like Indians are like Chinese. We would have to depend also on our diaspora to help us with getting goods inside the country, outside the country, opening up trade barriers, opening up a new market, seeing different businesses the same. And also as we're coming into these countries, collaborating and partnering with people, which takes time for that relationship to adjust. African-Americans coming over to Africa and just becoming millionaires, it just, it just doesn't make a lot of sense. And the reasons are very many. I'm just pointing out just a few. You have to understand the local customs. You have to understand local people, ways of doing business, fighting systems that are somewhat corrupt or somehow corrupt, people having lower standards in certain aspects of the economy, creating a new market. All of that takes a lot of time, patience, and diligence. And within that process will come failures. Many of us are not business people and we have to learn those skills. Before again to romanticize Africa's business opportunities, 
when even Africa's own diaspora, I'm talking about Nigerian Americans, Nigerian British, Ugandan Americans, Ghanaian Americans, Ghanaian British, they're not millionaires. They've been living the diaspora for years. And I'm gonna give you an example of this right here. Here is a brother who is a Ghanaian, who is an engineer in Germany the last 50 years. I mean, you know, he has a German passport. He's married to a lady from Germany. He's a civil engineer. He checks all the boxes in becoming a millionaire in Africa. But here's what's going on with him. That sounds like a good thing. Why are you facing challenges? Well, we uh, came and brought civil engineers from Germany and Switzerland and France, three countries. They came to survey a mountain we've located. In Africa, we wanted to uh, uh, to do a tourism in top of the mountain, whereby we will uh, go to the top of the mountain with cable carbon. Mm -hmm. And then we will do, have some games of toboggan and a whole lot of things. Mm -hmm. And by the grace of God, we have even uh, financiers from Germany, France, and uh, we try to locate a mountain where we can do this thing. We started off very uh, well, uh, had search report on the mountain, on the land we want to occupy. They said the land is free, the land is free, the land is free. We had eight landlords put the money together and then we started uh, negotiating. Having done everything, we went to the uh, point of paying part of the cost of the mountain and uh, land commission. Three days after paying that money, we had a call from the land commission that the land we want to, the mountain, the area we want is occupied. It's occupied. We, it's occupied. It's owned, but or oh, it's occupied. It's occupied. But, that is the language they gave uh, us. But did you guys go to see the place? We saw the place. And we there was have, nobody we, occupying it. No, we've done three, four uh, different. So, do you see the problems he's having? If he is a Ghanaian, born and raised in Ghana, and he's been educated abroad. He understands how to do things and he can't be a millionaire. What makes Akon so sure that African-Americans can become millionaires? Again, this is another way to try to scam somebody into doing something that you want them to do when it doesn't make sense. Akon needs to stop saying silly things like that because it just causes more heartbreak. The reality is doing business on the ground in Africa is very difficult. It is very hard. Is it rewarding? Yes but it does take a lot of time. It could take you one year, it can take you five years, it can take you 10 years, but it does take a lot of time. And you do have to go through a lot of BS, almost any African country that I know of, in order to be successful. It can be done, it will be hardships, and some people will fail in the process. That's just how it is. If it was easy, everybody would be doing it. But guys, thank you so much for supporting us here on the Ken Ghana channel. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe and hit the bell. We're out.